I'm Victoria Cooksey and today we're going to do sort of a book review with Dandelion Chocolates Making Chocolate Bean to Bar to Some More. And this has got to be like one of my favorite chocolate books so far and I'm so glad that books are just coming out more and more because we need more books. This book in particular, it's got something for everybody. If you're a chocoholic, you need it just because it's good to have good basic knowledge of how chocolate's made. If you want to make chocolate or you're just getting into making chocolate or you're having trouble brainstorming some problems, they're really generous in this book at sharing everything they've learned. You know, they don't keep that knowledge to themselves. They're like, hey, I'm going to give this to everybody because they get that it's okay to give the knowledge to everybody. There's room for everyone in the chocolate world. So you're going to learn different machines you can use, how to kind of fix machines up to make them work better. If you really want to go extreme, what are the more, you know, upscale machines to go for? Along with that, if you're just into picture books, okay, this book is like gorgeous pictures throughout the whole book. So it's almost like a coffee table book, but a little bit smaller, so it's handier. And then what I really like, because, you know, I'm into food and cooking and baking, the back section, here's a picture of the brownies, and I have made these brownies, and they're amazing with like cocoa nibs instead of nuts, pretty awesome. But the cooking, baking section of this could be literally a book onto its own. And it's something we've been needing, because as we move into the craft chocolate, specialty chocolate, luxury chocolate realm here, chocolate from different origins, as they talk about in this book, it doesn't behave the same way in every recipe. They all taste different as, you know, we as chocolate tasters know, you get nuttiness, you get fruitiness, you get all these different things. Which recipe? What chocolate? So this is going to give you a good foundation of recipes to start with, to start experimenting, and I, something I want to see more of in books, a lot more recipes using craft chocolate. Also what's nice with the recipe section in this book is they're not like, you must use dandelion chocolate. They'll say, here's what I used of dandelion, but if you don't have that, then go for, say, a chocolate that tastes nutty or whatever, and it kind of gives you a little explanation of that to help you along. So again, very generous. Oh, and another thing I like is there's almost like this sense of, a little sense of humor comes through now and then. You get this feeling of personality, so you feel like, hey, there's cool people behind this book. So all in all, if you don't have it, you need it. It's a great gift. It's great to buy for yourself. I think uh, it needs to be part of every collection. So thanks for watching this video. Be sure to follow my Instagram account, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, follow my blog, Dark Matter Chocolate Reviews, and I'll have the links below to that and for dandelion chocolate. So thank you. See you next time from Fort Towns in Washington.